I was so disappointed of your performance in the lab yesterday. Not only that the lab was totally destroyed, only three of you didn't end up in the hospital. You children seriously need some review on the lab safety rules. Now, who can tell me one of those rules? Just one of them. I'm looking for a hand. I'm still looking for a hand. Yes! May I use the restroom? Can I use the restroom too? No, this is important because it is lab safety 101. Experiments are not allowed. What does that mean? But does it mean that also that you do have to be authorized by the White House? No. May I use the restroom? No. We only do the experiments the teacher authorizes. Yes! But then, why did you burn this Tic Tac? I didn't remember I asked you to do that. Well, Move on to number two. Hey, Rule number two says that never eat or drink during an experiment. And this is what you guys did. Whoa, hey, hey, keep pour me some, pour me some. Hey, come on, hey. Wait up. Look it up, look it up. Yeah. Give me some. Oh, it's pretty good. Hey, cheers, we're gonna do cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this is what you do in a lab. Oh, man, that was good soda. Hey, can I get some more? Get your hand off my shoulder. Okay. Sorry, Mark. All right. Oh. Hey, what was that? What did you, you do with my soda? That was the HCL solution. Oh, whoops. My bad. Rule number three says that you have to wear goggles and footwear at all time in the lab. Now, who knows the importance of that? Yes! I really need to use the restroom. All right. Go, hurry, run! I remember two former students of mine. They didn't follow this rule. I never wear goggles in the lab. Hi, I'm Tim. Now I don't need to wear goggles in the lab. Hi, I'm Cory, and I like to feel the wind between my toes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cory, and now I can't feel anything between my toes. Rule number four says that you children need to keep the working area clean in the lab. And this is what you and Victor did. Where's your lab hand out? Um, I think I left it in the sink. Oh, here it is. Wait, no, that's not it. Maybe it's this one. Nah. And this is what Eric did. Hey, hey, I'm looking for my lab. Found it. No, you didn't. Okay. Rule number five says that you children are not allowed to touch chemicals with your hands unless you are instructed to do so. By not following this rule, Andrew lost his hand. Gee, I wonder what HCL feels like on my hand. Let me try. I lost my hand. Oh no, I can't write anymore. Rule number six says that you should use caution when working with equipment that has been heated. And this is what you guys did. Hey, can I touch it now? Yeah, it's not hot anymore. How do you know that? Um, it's obvious. 
glowing orange glass is hot, and glass that's not glowing orange isn't hot. Just be safe. I'm not going to use my hand. But my tongue. <laughs> Wait. Ah! <laughs> oh! I was just about to tell you that hot glass looks the same as cold ones. I don't believe it. Let me try. Well, number 13, right there. It tells you the correct way to smell the odor of a substance from an open container. And this is what you children did. Hey, I, I saw some guy on YouTube said this smells like grapes. Oh, really? Here, yeah, let me try. Let me, let me waft it, like the proper way. <laughs> I can't smell anything. Uh, look, Mr. Ross isn't looking. You should just take a big whiff. Shh, don't tell, okay? <laughs> Uh. Rule number 12 tells you to read the label twice before opening a chemical container to make sure it is the correct one. Anderson Josh to the emergency room when he did not follow this rule. Hi, I'm Josh. Oh, hey Andrew. I'm really thirsty now. Can I, can I, can I have some water? No. Why not? Hey, the, hey there's water right there. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't hey, see here. Oh. You can have this water. H2O, yeah. Yeah, H2O. yeah, that's what I need. Yeah. <sighs> oh, what is it? That, that, that doesn't have to go up. Oh, oh, oh. 7 says that you children have to turn off the fire when you leave this lab. And this is what you children did. I guess. Party's <laughs> over. Can't believe I lost my arm today. This is what happened later. After the review today, after we review all the lab safety rules, can any of you tell me what you learned today? Um, yes, I know the answer to that. Call on me, Mr. Big! Call on me! Yes! 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 May we use the restroom? Mr. Guillermo, do you know what this is? Well, this is a fire blanket. It is used to extinguish fires on a person or in an area. All right, Mr. Guillermo, can I show us an example? Then? Why, yes, I can. This is what you do. And the fire is extinguished. Oh, I haven't been showering for five months. Wait, that was five years. Hey, there's a shower right there. <laughs> Hold on, this is for what? emergency uses only. Of course it's an emergency right now. I haven't been showering for five years. You know what five years means? That's 60 months. Well, it's only for use for chemical spills on yourself. Well, uh, well whatever, I'm going to use it anyway. Children, remember. There's no horseplay in this lab. Never, ever, ever. Read my lips. There's no horseplay in this lab. Never, ever, never, ever, ever, never, ever, never, 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 ever. Hey, what are you guys doing? What are Andrew and F. What? Awesome job. How did I get an F, Mr. Victor? Got an app in the restroom, huh? Yes. <laughs> hey, it's on. Hey, good job. An A plus. Hey, you're stupid. Yeah, I know. Well, at least we know how to pass lab safety. The loser. Jeez, the loser. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. No.